Glory to God. May God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit bless you in this moment. With faith in God, with faith in our Lord Jesus, you will overcome all struggles, all battles, all attacks of the enemy. I declare in this moment, through God, that you will not lose this battle. Do you believe? Are you taking possession? This morning, we are starting a prayer purpose, a campaign that will be very powerful. It will bless the lives of all who participate with great faith, who believe, who cling to God. Today, we are launching the campaign, War Room. This is a spiritually powerful purpose. And if you hold on to prayer, if you listen to the directions I will give you, if you believe, you can be sure that what will happen in your life will be supernatural. This campaign, this prayer, is specific to be done in your room. There will be seven days of prayer. As I always teach here, seven is the number of God, a consecrated and blessed number. I am certain that in the next seven mornings, God's transformation will take place in your life. It will be very powerful, what God will do. Amen. You will overcome spiritual wars and battles. The first direction I will give you is to write your first name below in the comments and the phrase, God will give me victory. This is called making a declaration of legality. Every day, you will start the daily campaign by doing this. There are things that you will never overcome by speaking, you will overcome them by praying. Go to your room now, close the door, and let's pray. Let me explain the reason for this campaign. The last time I did this campaign, it was just between God and me. I was going through a very difficult time in my life. My mother was ill, her body was swelling all over. Doctors conducted many tests, but found nothing. I remember the day when the doctor said to my mother, we have examined you thoroughly and found nothing. At that moment, I understood that it was spiritual. So, I entered into prayer with the purpose of healing for my mother, and I conducted this campaign. I'm sharing this because it will also help you to engage in your purpose with God. I remember that I informed everyone in my house that I was going into my room, and while I was in there, no one should enter or knock. I closed the door to my room and began to pray with inexplicable faith. Before the seven days were over, if I recall correctly, on the second or third day, my mother began to de-swell. The doctors were left without an explanation for what happened to her. God is faithful. So, if you are facing a struggle, whether in matters of the heart, family, finances, or health, make a prayer purpose. Here's the next direction I'm giving you, starting today, for the next seven days of prayer, present the same request to God. Each day, you will pray for the same purpose. Do not change the request daily, understand? The Bible says, You, Lord, will keep the needy safe and will protect us forever from the wicked, Psalm 12 verse 7. God will give you victory, you will have a testimony to share, all for the glory of God. Let's pray. Our Lord and God, our beloved and dear Father. Almighty God, in this moment of prayer, we enter into your presence this morning and begin this powerful campaign called the War Room. I believe, my Father, that you will grant victory to your son, to your daughter, who is facing a spiritual attack, who is enduring an enemy's uprising. But the enemy rises only to fall, the enemy will be ashamed, for greater is he who is in the life of your child, greater is he who is in the life of your daughter. I prophesy, in the name of our Lord Jesus, that within these seven days of prayer in this campaign, my God, you will bring victory to your children. I now present to you the purpose of each individual in prayer. Many here are starting this campaign for their emotional life, others for their financial situation, others for their physical health, and others for their family life. I believe, my Father, that your children will emerge victorious from this battle, and great will be the testimony of your children. And great will be the testimony, 
for the honor and glory of your name. Rebuke, Father, every arrow of the enemy. Rebuke, Father, every action of the adversary, and bring victory, my God. We pray and entrust this prayer into your hands. And for the next six mornings, we will be here, my Father, with the same prayer, the same purpose, the same faith, and I believe, Father, that you will bring victory to each of your children. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Say, I believe. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. Amen. Glory to God.